let me put the disk of windows server and now we can start as most of the dell servers they use life cycle controller to configure the raid and install operating system so press f10 on your keyboard and enter that life cycle controller i have pressed f10 and now let's wait We are entering the life cycle controller. And first of all, try to get the latest firmware before you do anything, which I did okay select those items and uh, update it if the internet connection is available then let's go to the configure raid and deploy an operating system option and then i will select configure raid first then next taking more time ok the RAID controller is perk H330 adapter and I will select windows RAID and if you click about you can see the version of your lifecycle controller and uh, UEFI version ok I'm showing this because maybe the version which you are going to do will be different may, you may not see that same option which I am clicking but it will be still a uh, kind of similar okay now as I click next we can select the read which you want to configure I will select read 5 and it requires minimum 3 hard drives I have 4 hard drives I will select 3 of them and the fourth one I will choose the fourth one as a hot spare I will not select that in this window I will just click next and I will give a name for the disk you can give any name okay and if you want you can do the partition here create the size of the logical drive and uh, select the hot spare disk right here then finish yes and the read configuration is done the partition I am using this as a full partition I will do the partition later when it boots from the windows media because I haven't decided how much size it's required for the C drive and all and here the boot option by default it will be BIOS I would not recommend to choose the BIOS instead I would recommend to use UEFI if you choose the BIOS uh, it will not allow you to do the partition more than 2 TB and now I have selected Windows Server 2022 as my operating system as you saw that uh, I have inserted the media already and I have selected the option from here and I am waiting for that window to show uh, which says uh, select the proper media
okay and then manual install click next and I'm going to select the media but even though I have selected the media I saw that it's not booting from that DVD I mean, I click the finish button server is restarting okay it's trying to boot from the dvd but as i said earlier it show it's uh, yeah boot failed now i have to do some tricks here i will go to uh, the boot manager you can go to the boot manager by pressing f11 now or you can go to the boot manager uh, by pressing F11 when the system restarts or when the system boots okay uh, let me confirm that it's showing an error again I will wait for a second attempt booting from DVD once again Uh, no, good failed again. You can see that. Uh, okay. Now what I'm gonna do is, as I said earlier, I will add a boot option manually. I will show you how I did that by restarting the machine and going to boot options by pressing F11. Mm. It keeps failing. Yeah. So I have restarted by pressing Alt Control Delete. And now I will press F11 and it's entering Boot Manager. Now I will go to one shot UEFI boot menu. Then I will go to add boot option and uh, I will browse the DVD of Windows Server. I will go to EFI folder inside that boot folder. I will select the boot x64.efi and I will give it a name, 6 character minimum. Okay. And just below that, input optional data. It's optional, it's not mandatory. Um, anyway, I'm going to fill that. And commit changes and exit. 
okay now you can see the fourth option it came there which we added manually and I'm going to select that now let's see whether it boots from that or not booting from windows server if you can yeah and it's loading with windows I just want to verify a few more things like uh, the windows can detect the hard drive or uh, it is showing the full capacity of the hard drive this is a small server which I am going to uh, use for an active directory in a small environment I can see the progress bar uh, but my mobile seems like it cannot show the contrast between the real progress uh, it's, it's hard to see from the mobile camera it's hard to see from the phone camera I mean but it's progressing the mobile cam is having a tough time to focus the screen sorry guys okay Okay, now select that, it is so long. Now I will select uh, the one with desktop experience so that I can get the full graphical options, graphical interface. Accept, next, custom install, new okay 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 seems working uh, if you have selected uh, boot option as a bios uh, you will not be able to see the full capacity of this hard drive especially if it is more than two terabyte uh, bios cannot detect that that's it guys thank you